Setting up Azure Virtual Desktop isn't all that hard once you have the prerequisites in order, which I assume that you have at this point. So that would be a tenant, Azure subscription, proper licensing, and a VNet to host your session hosts in. So with that being said, let's jump into the portal. From the Azure portal, you can either search for AVD and go to Azure Virtual Desktop or whatever way you want to use. And then we'll click create a host pool. We'll select the subscription. I'll use this resource group. The host pool, I'll just call AAD. And the location here is basically just where uh, your metadata for your setup will be stored. Choose whatever is closest to you, but it doesn't really have that much of an impact apart from data residency. So I'll just use the West Europe for now. And this is not a validation environment, so I'll hit no there. This will be a pooled session host pool, and I'll go for depth first. That just means that AVD will try to stack as many users as possible on each and every session host before making use of the next one. So if I have two, it will complete to fill up the first one and then send users to the next one. And that's based on the limit that you specify in the maximum session limits. If you select breadth first, it will divide all the users evenly across all of your session hosts. So like I said, I'll use depth first here and let's use five. A good rule of thumb around sessions for each uh, session host is to never have more than say three or four per vCPU on the session hosts, depending on your usage, of course. Let's go on to virtual machines and I will be adding virtual machines in this case. Name prefix, we'll just go with AAD for that as well. Uh, virtual machine location, that would be the region where you want your VMs to be deployed. Availability options, you have available zone and availability sets. In my case, I'll use no infrastructure redundancy required. I uh, will be using the standard one, not the trusted launch. And for image, I will be going with Windows 11 with Microsoft 365 apps pre-installed. Standard D2S version 3 is fine for me. And I only need one of them. Standard SSD is also fine. Boot diagnostics I'll leave as recommended. And I'll select my VNet. We will have no public inbound ports. And for directory, I will choose Azure AD. And of course, also re-enroll my session host to Intune right away. So we don't have to bother with that later on. And we need a local admin account for our VMs as well. And now that that's done, let's go on to workspace because I want to register a desktop app group. So I'll hit yes, and I'll create a new workspace called just AD01. It's a beautiful name in it. And next, next, and review and create, and then create. Then we just have to wait for the deployment to finish. While that's going on, scroll on down and like and subscribe. Now that the deployment is complete, we need to add my user to the desktop application group, which I can do by manage user assignments here. I'll click add and then I'll find myself and click and select. So that will add me to the application group, meaning I can see whatever is provisioned in the app group. But in order to sign in to this session host because it is Azure AD joined we need to give my user permission to log on as well and that is done on the VM so I'll go back to Azure uh, go into my resource group here and within here I'll go to access control and add role assignment then we will search for the login and here we can either use the virtual machine administrator login that would give my user the local admin rights or just the virtual machine user login so I'll select the user login for now and next and select members, uh, search for myself, select my user and select and then review and assign and review and assign. Now that my user is both assigned to the application group and I have permissions to log into the VM, I should be able to log in through the remote desktop client. So let's try that. We'll go to the remote desktop client and hit subscribe. And then select my Azure AD account. And here we are. So now I should be able to just double click this. And since this is an Azure AD joint session host, I should also be able to use Windows Hello. The documentation says no, but my experience is that it just works. So I'll use face and hit OK and we'll see. 
So far, so good. Of course, it takes a little more time since this is the first login. And there you have it. I'm logged into my brand new session host. And yeah, that's how easy it is to set up Azure Virtual Desktop for a Azure AD joint session host. But let's take a look at AD joint session hosts. So I'll just close this for now and then head back to the Azure portal. We'll go back to Azure Virtual Desktop. We will create a new host pool, select subscription, select a resource group. We will call this host pool just AD. The location will be West Europe because that's where I want my metadata to be stored. It's a not a validation environment. And for host pool, we will use pools and depth first. Five is the max session limit. That's just fine. Hit next. And yes, we want to add Azure Virtual Machines. The name prefix will use AD for now. West Europe is OK for location. I will select no infrastructure redundancy required. And for image, I will be using Windows 11 with Microsoft 365 apps. I only need one VM for now. And select virtual network. And for directory to join, I will be using Active Directory. In my case, I will actually be using Azure AD DTS, but that's kind of the same thing, at least in this scenario. Add in a user account that has permissions to join computers to the domain. And of course, it's password. And on the specified domain or unit, you should select yes, because if you select no, then it would take the domain part of your UPN and try to join the session host to that domain. And in my case, that's not the name of my domain. So I'll select yes. And the domain name I want them to join is aadds.addertech.com. On the organizational unit path, you can specify the path of the OU you want your computer object to be stored in. In my case, I'll just leave it blank. And then we will add in a local admin account. And then go next to workspace. And on the registered desktop app group, I will select yes. And we will create a new workspace for this. Just call this ADO1. Okay. And then we will go to review and create. And create. Depending on how many VMs you are deploying, this will take a while. Uh, most of the time it's just deploying the VMs itself. The AVD part of the deployment is actually quite quick. And once the deployment is done, we need to assign my user access to this desktop app group, actually. So I'll just click Manage Use Assignment, and I'll hit Add, Search for me, click Select, and Done. Now I can jump over to my remote desktop client. And since I am already subscribed to one workspace, I can just refresh and my new one should just magically appear. And so it does. So I'll just double click this. And now this is joined to my AD, so I can't use Windows Hello. I would need to click more choices, select my username, input my password, and we should be good. And voila. I'm logged into my brand new session host that is joined to my AD. So as you can see, setting up Azure Virtual Desktop in the simplest of scenarios isn't all that hard, but there's a lot more advanced stuff you can do as well. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to catch one of those videos, or, you know, just check out this here on enabling screen capture protection in Azure Virtual Desktop. And uh, yeah, cheers.